Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1089. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, Mr. Excel did a great video podcast, 1873, and he used pivot table, get pivot data, and power pivot. So I'm going to show you a solution, but with formulas. So here's our data set, and we need to get from the revenue column all of the February for 2012, February for 2013, and year-to-date numbers for each individual customer. So check this out. We're going to have to use this column, the customer column for criteria, and the date column for criteria. Now let's go look. Mr. Excel did this amazing pivot table with a helper column. It was too unwieldy, and then he showed the cool get pivot data. All right, so I'm going to try and create the same report. But I'm going to use formulas. And all I need to think about is the criteria, the date range. I need from in February 2012 and 2013. So I just need the lower date and the upper date. Similarly, when I'm doing year to date to February, I just need the beginning of the year and then February for 2012, February for 2013. I also need to get a unique list of customers. So if I'm starting with this, I'm going to go ahead and use Advanced Filter. Select D1, Control-Shift-Down arrow, Alt-A-Q. I want to copy to another location. Oh, you know, I didn't need to highlight that in advance because the list range, of course, assumes I want the whole table. So I have to correct it and do this again. Control Shift down arrow. Criteria range. We don't we don't have any criteria, but we do have unique records only. I'm going to copy to say Control Home just to jump to the top. Say K1. Click OK. So there is my unique list. Control C. Let's come over to this sheet and Control V. Immediately I can see I've messed up the format. I'm going to point to my Smart Tag values. All right, now we have one, two, three criteria. We're going to use some ifs. Now, I'm going to actually have to get one, two, three cell references from this sheet. And I'm going to have to get a bunch of columns from the data sheet over here. So I'm have to use sheet references. And sheet references will mess up my formula a little bit. And let's take a look at the sum ifs. It needs the sum range and criteria range 1, criteria 1. It'll also need criteria range 2, criteria 2, criteria range 3. Now, the criteria is going to come from right here. I'm actually going to enter the ranges in 1, 2, and skip over the criteria arguments so I don't get sheet references when I'm actually using a cell reference on this page. Now, there's a few ways to tackle that particular problem, but that's how I'm going to do it. Let's go ahead and click on Data. We could see up in the Formula bar, and there's our screen tip, because we're going to have to work up here just for a little bit. Some range, I'm going to e, uh, F2, Control-Shift-Down arrow, F4 to lock it. Now you can see up here, some range is bold. I'm going to type a comma to get to criteria range. Here's the date. I'm going to Control-Up arrow, Down arrow, Control-Shift-Down arrow, F4. All right, so I have my criteria range. Now watch this comma. If I went back over to the sheet, I would start getting sheet references there. I don't want it. I'm just going to skip it. Notice there's a comma. In, it, in essence, there's nothing there, but that's OK. We'll add it later, criteria range 2. I'm actually going to have to use the date column twice, Control up arrow, down arrow, Control shift down arrow, F4, comma, comma. Whoops. I must have done something wrong there. I guess I didn't hit F4. Watch this. I'm going to highlight that little colon and F4. Whoops, now I'm back on the sheet. That's OK. Comma, I'm going to skip over that one, comma. Now I have to go back over here and get the customer column. So I click on the date sheet. Control up arrow, down arrow, Control shift down arrow. Let's see if I hit F4 now. OK, good. Comma. Criteria range, leaving that empty too. Close parentheses, Control, Enter. Now I'm going to hit it F2 to put it back in edit mode. And now when I come back and enter these, criteria range 1, 2, et cetera, I will not get sheet references. All right, 
a lower date, I need in double quotes the comparative operator. Are you greater than or equal to two separate characters? And double quote, and I'm going to join it using the ampersand to the lower date. Now, the formula has to be copied down and over. I need a lock going down, but not to the side. So I had F4 one, two times. Lock the row reference, but not the column. All right, now, boop, by clicking criteria two, this one's going to be double quote, less than or equal to, and double quote, join symbol ampersand, the upper date, F4, F4. Finally, we need our customer criteria for three, so I'm going to come over here, boop, F4, one, two, three times, lock the column. So it's locked this way, but not when it copies down. Control Enter. Copy it over one, double click and send it down. Now, notice the when I did advanced filter, it just took the first one that it encountered, and I want it to look the same as over here. So I'm going to do something dangerous. This is kind of like a little uh, field names and columns with data. So I'm, I don't want to sort everything. I just want to sort this. It will uh, the formulas will be okay, but I'm just going to sort this. Right click, sort A to Z, and this dialog box has been here since 2002. Expand is the default, because normally it sees that there's a field name and it thinks we did it wrong. This is one of those cases where I want to continue with current selection and sort. So it looks like we're getting the correct numbers. Now the variance, I'm going to copy Mr. Excel's formula. I love it. If error, and then the formula for Percentage change, which will be our variance, n divided by begin minus 1. That's the formula of the value. But notice we have 0, 0, so we'll get a divide by 0 error. So if, if it is an error, we want 0. Control Enter. Uh, double click and send it down. Notice in earlier versions, it would have sent it down to there. But now it's seen that there's a formula there, I guess. And it's stopping. Control C on that whole range, Control V. And there we go. The February for 12 and 13 variances, year to date up to February 2012 and up to 2013, and the variances. All right, I would normally throw it back to Mr. Excel, but this isn't a duel. Uh, there's the formula solution. All right, we'll see you next trick.